But it all seems quite simple, doesn't it? 70 minutes, a little break for half time in between, lift the trophy at the end. The AYL 14s, the BDSFA AYL 14s, Premiers, can they be double and make it champions? Up against Southern Branch, a very physical team who can play really good football. There have been some fantastic games between these two throughout the season and in many years gone by, but they've really picked it up this year. And so have our boys. Premiers for a reason, secured well before the end of the final game week. Champions, synthetic pitch, we're used to that. Against these guys, we can do that. Enjoy the next 70 minutes. Chris, it's grand final day. We've had interrupted years, but this is a squad you've been with for around half a decade now. You know them, they know you. And I'm sure you're very experienced when it comes to these situations in your, in your playing days and in your uh, and most recently last week. And of course, uh, you, you've done it as a coach and you're here now as well. It's a big dance. Are you excited? Definitely, you know, couldn't have uh, asked for a you know, better outcome to the end of the season. You know, boys have done well for getting up until this point now. Like, they've worked hard all season, pre-season and then during season. You know, they've dominated, which they have, um, winning 15 points clear, becoming minor premiers and, you know, capping it off last week with a semi-final win. But job's not done yet. Let's hopefully we can get that done today and uh, cap it off with a major win for the boys. Sure, for sure. There's probably a point around where we had you on the podcast last time, actually, where I think you, you guys are pretty set to be minor premiers. Like you didn't have to do too much more like extravagant sort of work to, to, to solidify that. It was a couple of wins away, and perhaps it, it, you know, the mentality shifted a little bit and a bit complacent in some games. But as the finals have, have been on the horizon, you really picked up again, back to your best, absolute best, I'd say. Uh, and that's what I've seen and, and heard as well. So, talk to me about the, the previous games against Southern Branch, and I know that they've been they've been a big a big rivals uh, all throughout the year. So, yeah. t- tell me about some of the games, or even in years gone by, or some of the moments that would be worth mentioning. Yeah. So, I mean, like, um, hard to say last year because you know we got to play every opposition at least once, and then the season obviously cancelling as it was. But this year, Southern Branch have probably been our toughest competitor. They are a very physical team. So they're a lot stronger than what our boys are normally. So it's, it's a big challenge um, when we come up against them. Um, you know, quality-wise, I think we're better on the ball than what they are. But again, at the end of the day, it's, just, it's going to come down to that who wants it more, who's going to show a lot more strength to win the ball, to keep the ball out of opposition hands, um, who can show off their quality and their skill, and overall who really wants it at the end of the day. So hopefully our boys can pull through, and I know the, the energy that I can feel at the moment in the change room is there, so hopefully they can bring that in the game today. Yeah, a bit of on-concrete shiver happening at the moment, and so the music is blaring as much as we've been able to blur it out with the, with the door being shut. But with, with the team talk today, for your, for your last question, just a quick preview of the match. This is... Uh, any key words you want to hear? Any sort of key, any? What kind of mentality do you want these these boys to have? What are you going to say to them? Um, basically, go out there and enjoy it. Like you know, it's not every every game you play. It's going to be a major final like today. Um, you know, they're, they're prepared very well for the week in training. Like, uh, like I can't say no more. They know the game plan that we're going to play today against this lot. Like we we watched them last week in in their semi final game to um, Northwest, and we've taken points in there. They're fully aware of um, you know how they play and you know how we're gonna you know count on what they're gonna do today on the ball and off the ball. So um, you know I think they're very very confident, very prepared. They're, they're a good group of boys. Um, no doubt they'll have each other's backs today and um, they'll be hungry to get the win today. So you know they're gonna do it for the club, they're gonna do it for their family and friends. But over, overall they're gonna do it for each other because they've worked hard collectively to be for each other this whole season. And no doubt they're gonna do it today for sure. Absolutely. That's why they're here. That's why we're at Valentine Sports Park. That's why they're jigging themselves up with it just an hour until kickoff. So I wish you the best of luck and we'll chat after the victory. Thank you very much.
half time in the 14s AYL final between your BDSFA boys and the Southern Branch. And of course, it is deadlocked at nil all. There's been chances at both ends, particularly the opposition have been quite deadly from corners. They've come close a couple of times. Uh, we look at the more technical side, as Chris said uh, in the pre-match chat that we had. Uh, everything is coming to, to be the way that he said it would be. So I'm not surprised by that at all. He is very tactically on top of things. I think this is the kind of game that's going to be separated by one goal. As you can see, plenty of people here in the crowd behind me. Uh, it's, it's gone from a really uh, obscure day of weather to just being pretty windy as the sun heads towards uh, the bottom of the horizon. So uh, get your jackets on if you're still around here. Uh, but get excited for a second half. I'm sure it's going to light the place up.
Thank you all for coming to support us. Congratulations. Unfortunately in football there are winners uh, and there are losers uh, and the cheer that you're about to hear come through the microphone is not of ours today unfortunately. The Premier's not champions, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Commiserations to our 14's boys who played their heart out today. They came from behind plenty of times uh, on the scoreboard and then also in terms of the performance as well. Uh, there have been tears which is why it's not you know, my place to, to show that, that post-match conversation now but Chris Dale Keith, of course a, a name you're familiar with. Uh, I'm sure is, is, is absolutely, I know is the right person to, to, to inspire this side back to doing it uh, one step even further next season. Uh, for the 14th AYL, the Premier is by far the standout AYL side and I can't wait to see what they can throw up next year and when we get back here in a year's time, I know that it's going to go a different way, hopefully the Blacktown way. Uh, but after a very, very long day here at Valentine Sports Park, of which we're very thankful thankful for the uh, for the hosting of, of those guys in Football New South Wales and having us all here today between Spartans and our AYL uh, and the BDSFA, very grateful. Uh, a very successful day and a good fun day uh, in a lot of ways, uh, not just in terms of the trophies that are being brought home. Once again, commiserations to our 14s. Uh, and by the way, not that you can see it, but the, the, the crowd that's turned out here tonight has been fantastic. Uh, and that just shows how much... Uh, football means to the people in this in this squad and that's how I know that they'll be back. Until next time.